Fox Sports. Believe it. Okay, congrats, guys. Yeah, congrats, man. <laughs> awesome game. Right, so, uh, how was the game? As a whole. Uh, at first, we, we started a bit slow. You know, um, ball speed wasn't high. Uh, basics wasn't that good. But then, uh, after the team talk, we knew we got to pick ourselves up in the second half. So, I think in the second half, we did really well. You know, like, there's like a 50% improvement from the first half. So, that, that's what made the difference. Okay, what was said to you uh, at halftime? Uh, me? Uh, no, you all. <laughs> what did the coach say to you guys? Uh, basically, to up the tempo of the game, the intensity, sharpen up our basics. And if you really want this game and go into the top four, and we got to grab it by with both hands. Uh. If not, it's going to slip away from us. It's a good chance to go to the top four, Singapore key to move forward. And yeah, we did that. And yeah, it shows in the end of the game. Yeah. Was he annoyed? Yeah, very. How annoyed? Especially, especially for the first half, because because we ourselves know we have we can do better than the first half. So the way we play in the second half really up the game, up the tempo, the intensity and basics and everything. So we managed to put in six goals. Yeah, six, six goals in the second half. What went wrong in the first half? First half, I think to me, I think there was a bit of complacency. Uh, before the game, because everyone was uh, taking it too lightly, maybe. So we needed a wake-up call for the f after the first half. Then we started to sharpen up during the second half. Yeah. Is this the most annoyed coach has been with you all since not, he came, or has not he been more annoyed with you all before? It's a good uh, annoyed in a good way to make us uh, improve our game. Yeah. But were you guys annoyed with yourself? Yeah. Basically, yeah, you can see from the faces in the first half that we are not playing very well, not playing up to our normal game, our standard, and we certainly show that in the second half. Ashik, last the second half, glaring, glaring miss, what was that? Oh, <laughs> I'm... See, you only remember the bad stuff. Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, I wanted to pass the ball to Carl, but I think I passed it too lightly. Like, um, I don't know, maybe I, I, I didn't like give a hard pass, you know, because I saw the keeper came out. So I just tried to give a slow pass and actually I, it, it, was a, it was a wrong choice. Lah. Yeah, she should given a harder pass. So for the second half, was that your best half in the whole tournament so far, you all think? Or? Mm, no. Do you think the second half of this match, is that the best you all played all tournament? Or you think you all played? I don't, I don't no, think no. so. Uh. I think yeah. the game against Pakistan, yeah. the, the first 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So for the three of you guys, you know, first year, basically like the leaders of the team, or whatever, do you feel that it was important for you, especially the second half, to play better and take your team, push your team? Especially because the two of you, all of you scored goals. Yeah. The two of you scored goals. So you feel that you know, it was your responsibility as well? Yeah, basically like because like um, me, uh, us being the senior players, right, we should like, you know, uh, carry up our juniors and the rest of the players. So it's really important. If we, if we don't feel motivated and we won't inspire them, then um, the second half wouldn't be like just now. So it's really good that, you know, we pick ourselves up and pick themselves up as well. So yeah, really like help one another. What would you say was the turning point? Oh, the, just the uh, first goal where we got the first corner at the first, in the first minute and Seta and Hasif scored and Seta the nerves down, uh, took the burden off our shoulders and uh, after that we can play our normal hockey, yeah, not so tense. And silence was just the last game. What was it just now at the end? It wasn't a goal, Kali. right? The, the last minute one. <laughs> right? mm, yeah, <laughs> that last test I care. Yeah, the whistle blown and stop my say and go. But so you thought it went in? Yeah, right? it went in well, but the <laughs> time finish expired. Yeah, you look, you look upset, right? Yeah, it was a nice goal. <laughs> <laughs> My last game of goal, that's why. So, are you definitely not playing in nah. this time? Uh, yeah, not, not playing. How come you played today? I thought you were not uh, supposed to Yesterday, play. my shoulder held up well. Uh, physio did a good job holding it and went through well. Didn't feel any pain. So, yeah, since today is an important game, might as well I come and help the team. And after this, I to take a rest for about one month. For the next tournament in Hong Kong. But the next game is against Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. Can your shoulder hold up well for another game? Ask the coach. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, uh, what, what went wrong in the first half? Uh,
Gee, I think it's, uh, I mean, obviously it's a young group like this. Um, very emotionally charged game yesterday. Um, you know, obviously lots of adrenaline going through your body and the chemical reactions that go through. So it's, it's always hard to get up uh, after something as big as last night was for them. Um, especially, I think, the, you know, the emotional letdown at the end. Um, obviously added to that because we, there was a sense that we had let ourselves down a little bit last night and wasted a good opportunity um, after half time. So, you know, today we looked very positive in the morning. I was quite comfortable um, in the build up all the way through. Uh, but I think the combination of obviously the emotions last night and there's a huge injury toll. Um, you know, we've carried it all the way through from the beginning to the end, and I think now it's after the workload that was gone through last night that's beginning to take its toll on, on the legs today. Um, I think you saw the boys certainly looking a lot heavier than they were. So, um, you know, good thing is that we've achieved our target. Um, done, done for the first time in Singapore history, so that's good. Um, the boys have been really disciplined about getting that done, so I think we've got a lot to be proud of there. Okay, what do you say at halftime? I said a lot actually. Um, but I think the key message to Ram home was just the fact that, you know, come, we've, we've put a lot of hard work and effort into this. Um, it's been a pretty intense three months build up and it's an ideal opportunity and we're, we're sort of letting it squander just a little bit and, and this just requires one last deep dig to achieve our objective for this tournament. Um, after that anything else is cream uh, on the top. So. You know, the boys dug deep just, just to get the job done. What are some areas of improvement that you observed that could be for next uh, game? What between the, the, the game? Uh, from, from this game, yeah. from the last game to this game? Um, I think, oh, difficult to say, I think we were better last night for the first 20 minutes. So that's the sort of standard that I'd like to set. And I think in pretty much almost every game leading up to this, that's the sort of style we played. And you know, our game's a passing game where we move the ball, um, maintain good forward flow and, and keep that sort of work rate going. Tonight we couldn't quite do that. I don't think the legs allowed for that tonight. Um, so I, I wouldn't say that there was an improvement tonight. I think we, we did it hard, we did it tough. Um, probably the improvement tonight is the mental focus and the strength of character to get the job done. I think that's where we improved. Um, the boys had to dig really deep emotionally tonight to get it done. You, you mentioned that uh, you've reached the target right, for the semi-finals, but so the game tomorrow's an off day, and then the game against the league, I mean, How are you going to prepare for that? I mean, obviously you want you don't want to just go in there and just turn up. You want to go in and try and win. No, obviously. I mean, we'd, we'll go out as hard as we possibly can, um, and I'm not I'm not at all saying we're just going to pitch up and be cones around the field. Um, but at the same time, I've got to be really disciplined about managing the injuries. Um, the, most, the most important tournament for us as a federation this year is the Under-21 Junior AHF Cup. And that's in Hong Kong in three weeks' time, so the 20th of July we leave. Uh, seven of these guys will be in that team and all seven of those are carrying fairly, fairly big injuries. So in terms of making sure that they fit for that, um, that's, that's my first priority at this stage. So, yes, objective achieved. Yes, we'll be out here to play. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, just how strong we're able to go out and compete that uh, physically in terms of the running that we're able to do um, is, is something that we'll have to look at. So, will we not see your first choice lineup against Malaysia? Uh, prob no, you definitely won't. You definitely won't. Can you share with us some injury you worries that you have? Um, no, probably, look, I probably wouldn't want to keep those uh, internal, um, but you know, they look, they're all fairly serious. So, you know, joints, joints, muscles, groins, that sort of thing. So, um, stuff that that can rehab within three weeks if we need it. But um, I've, just, I've just got to be really disciplined. So, so, so you're not going to send out your first, first eleven against Malaysia, or you can't? Send I can't send them out. I can't send them out. Is that because of injury or because you need to rest them for the, the next I don't week? need to. Well, I mean, it's injury-based rest. So, um, you know, that's the key. But surely, you know, you get the semi-finals and a win there and you get into the finals. Isn't it something that you're looking at? Well, I mean, the, the amount of damage that I could do if, if something does go wrong in those semis could mean that any one of those injuries could be six weeks re rehab. Um, assuming that I do two of them, um, it seriously jeopardises the campaign. And uh, you know, as I said, the Under-21 AHF Cup is, is the most important event for us this year.
because if we don't finish well there, that means that this age group doesn't have any events for the next four years to really attend. So it's crucial that we get the job done there to make sure that you know, the development of this group through, through to the 2013 Junior World Cup, they have opportunities to play and compete. Uh, moving forward, Malaysia, what's your analysis of Malaysia? Ah, look, Malaysia, I mean, they've come into this tournament with not a lot of preparation behind them because they've come off the back of their domestic season. Um, so I think they're finding their feet as they go through the tournament uh, and gelling as a group and getting better and better as they go. But tremendously good side, you know, they've just got such depth of talent over there. So um, their ability to sort of finish is just incredible. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go against them. It's always been a good tussle between, between Singapore and Malaysia. Um, I always think there's always a lot of pride at stake between both, so you know, we'll see. it'll be a good contest. Do you feel that you know, with the pride at stake and you guys not being able to send out your strongest team that it may not be much of a contest? Um, no, look, I think I mean, it's the challenge is there for the other guys that come in to get the job done. Um, you know, they now have an opportunity to, uh, to claim a stake in this team and prove that they, they do add value to the, to the group. Uh, which I think they do, they have the potential to, but obviously just a little bit off where the others are. So uh, they now have an opportunity, you know, so they, they've got to grab it with both hands. And just the last thing, you know, of, this, of the, your strongest 11, how many of them are actually uh, seriously compromised or whatever for that team? Uh, good for you. Between five and seven, I'd say. So five and seven probably won't play in the next game, is it? No, no, no. I mean, we, we're only allowed to leave two out, so... Uh, you know, it, it just means that at any one given stage, I've got to have sort of five guys on the bench, and those five guys will probably comprise the most serious injuries for us. So, as in who rotates through what lines, it, it'll be limited playing time. They certainly won't be on there for the full, you know, for as much as they'd normally be on there. So they will play, but just not as yeah. much as. Sure, and they certainly won't be able to give 110 percent. You know, it's. it's they're probably going to be at about between 50 and 60 percent of capacity. So, in that case, do you still think the Malaysia match is winnable, or is that going to be a bit too hard for the boys? Oh, it, it's, it's knockout hockey. You know, anything happens on the day. Um, we'll have to wait and see whether it's winnable or not. I mean, we'll, we'll go out and do our best to try and win it, without a doubt. But uh, you know, as I said, we are compromised. So. Thank you very much. Yeah, Joy. Uh, uh, just uh, um, when you were having the talk at half time, um, your assistant was having the talk longer with them. Is that the plan? Um, no, no. I mean, obviously he's he's on the bench. So you know, we what I'm working with Sunil on is um, is obviously him coming up and taking more of a controlling role uh, as we go on. Um, because at the moment I'm running four squads, so he's got to take more of a leading role. So part of this is sharing the workload. Um, sometimes we dovetail where I take a lead and, and he takes less of a role and sometimes he takes more of a role and I take a bit more of a back seat. So um, I came down and gave a few pointers and a few things and, and he took over the, the rest of the talk from there. You're giving some special instructions to, uh, I think, some of the senior players, right? At half -time, just when the rest of the guys talk, talk, talk mm. uh, What were you telling them? Were you telling and them I was just showing them some, some open spaces and penalty corners and spaces we should be looking to attack. Special instructions no, no. No, just, yeah, just looking at penalty corners and where we could be more effective. Yeah, look, they they're pretty pooped. Um, you know, they they're pretty pooped. They're pretty. Um, the guys have they they had to dig deep tonight, and you know, especially playing with all those injuries, it, it takes its toll on you. So they're happy. Um, they they're tremendously proud. Um, you know, tonight it's it's sort of like the weight has has been lifted off their back, type of thing. They've got the job done. It's now time to recover. So, sorry, overall, are you happy with the result? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, this this group's shown a lot of character, a lot of character on, on so many fronts. So, uh, you know, we, we've had praise from pretty much every coach that we've that we've seen here. So, and that that's a good thing for these boys. Uh, nobody's expected us to improve by this amount. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. We've laid a foundation, a very solid foundation, a very short space of time. Uh, we've now got to come, continue to improve and, and be more consistent. Uh, are you glad that you're playing Malaysia? Maybe drawing more things? As I said before, it doesn't matter who we play. You know, it really doesn't matter. Um, we go out with the focus purely and squarely on what we do.
uh, for every game. So, because this is a development phase, uh, you know, you're never going to turn a team into a, a real consistent winning team in three months. Um, so, the path we're on is probably about a two to three year development plan of this group to really make them top notch, hopefully, if all goes well. Thank all good? So all good. Thank you, gentlemen. Vox Sports. Believe it.